Hi everyone, my name is Pete and this, this is Swift Tips. Today I wanted to show you something really cool that I learned a few days ago. As you know, I am working in my own implementation of a Swift macro. Uh, it's called Sample Builder. And this Sample Builder is capable to generate data for free for you. So it is, for example, in this case, generating a list of items or a list of strings from this struct that is capable to be used in anywhere you want. For example, uh, Swift UI previews or even unit testing. So yeah, instead of typing this one by one, you are generating this uh, set of uh, items in one shot. So if instead of three, you want five and just grab this again and you're now getting five. Also, I am capable to generate random data thanks to this new uh, type that I'm using called data generator. I will talk more about in detail in another video, but it's under the hood is using this uh, library called fakery that is generating strings, ints, and other kind of uh, types uh, for you. But the point of this video is that in order to use Sample Builder, this is like a client to demonstrate how to use it. Uh, I first need to import the macro library. In this case, it's called Swift and Tips Macros. But the problem is that you also need to import this data generator. And this data generator is a shared uh, struct that is capable to, you know, uh, create a set of tools, a set of uh, data, uh, for you, right? Depending on what you want to do. For example, we have the default here, which will return all with the same data. Or also, uh, if you want random data, we are using other kind of approaches, like using fakery, faker, sorry. Um, but the problem here is that if you wanted to use it in your client, well, do you need to first uh, uh, import Swift and Tips macros, but also you need to import data generator. So you need to import two, uh, libraries in order to use this. What happens if you don't do it? If you compile this, you will get a, a, a warn, a, an error here because um, data generator is not recognized in this context. So, okay, this, this may be not a problem, but I would like to simplify this and find a way to call data generator directly from the import of Swift and Tips macros in order to you to make it simple. And I find a way, but it has some trade-offs, but I will show you anyway. So let's go back to the to this library, the, this file, which is public macros, which contains the list of uh, macros available to you, public. So um, if you can see here, we are importing data data generator, okay? But the thing in order to, if you want to uh, get access to data generator from Swift and Tips macro, instead of uh, manually importing data generator in your client, well, the only thing you have to do here is using this attribute called dash or underscore exported. What exported will do is uh, importing this module for you inside of Swift and Tips. And then if you do that, we can remove this. And look, it's working. Now, with just one single import, you are capable to import other Swift modules directly from Swift and Tips macros. This is awesome. And you can use it in some way in your own implementation. However, there is one little thing you need to know. If we go back to public macros, well, this uh, underscore exported is kind of, um, I will not say experimental, but when, when this mark has underscore, when you find an API with this underscore, that means it's like not ready or not the, the final version of this. So in a future, we might have something like export it and then uh, do the same magic, but like an official way to do it. 
right? Uh, in this case, we have the underscore exported, which is technically um, under your own risk to use it outside of the Swift uh, domain or, or the Swift code base. So with this, I wanted to show you that it is possible to, you know, import child domain, child imports inside an, a parent import, uh, a parent model, sorry. Uh, but I wouldn't say that this is, you know, something that uh, you should put in your uh, production version unless you know the risk. If you know the risk and you want to move forward, definitely this will be great to use. In my case, I will still deciding to use it or not, but at least for now, I'm seeing that mm, looks like the benefits of this are better than the compromises. So, well, tell me what do you think about it? So if you have your own opinions, I would like to hear you in the comments down below. That's it for now. So thank you so much and have a great day.